Yeah, so today's the day. We're gonna pull this thing out. Richard's taking the tarp off. Is that your tarp or is that one yeah. that I had? There is one that I had. Because the one I had on the side of the garage was one of these silver yeah. ones. But it don't matter to me. Well, I just was wondering because the holes are in the right place for all those hooks, if yeah. that's one of mine. You can use it for that, yeah, no matter. But if it's not <coughs> the right one, then... All right, fire the sucker up. The snow is pretty much gone. This whole island in the middle here is gone. Yeah, I know, right? Get right out of here. Good. I think I'm going to put my coffee down. Just yeah. This cup holder in here doesn't Put it right next to mine. <laughs> I don't want to spill my coffee. I'm going to redo some of this. I'm going to be And away we go. Stage right. <laughs> So there. fan for this either. I remember that now. Yeah. I'm running it without a fan because it just the radiator was too close. I made the brackets for the radiator and put them on rubber mounts. Yeah. But I gotta put some new brackets for the top. Yeah, Still, I think I so. Some, I guess. But I mean it's really sturdy too, which is great. I yeah. gotta do a real a, a better radiator hose on the bottom. That and of course it still pops out of freaking uh, oh, yeah. Idea. Expired January 1st, <laughs> 2022, or maybe January 31st. I don't know, but it's expired. However, we're in Maine. Yeah. Yeah, that's New Hampshire. That don't count. Yeah. So they're, not gonna, they're not gonna be worried about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As long as I'm not doing rubber shows and stuff, you know? <laughs> I mean, I've been getting by with this thing here for so long without a sticker. It's yeah, got a right? two-year-old sticker or no front plate. I was going with only one headlight until you fixed it the other day. <laughs> and they still haven't pulled me over. Maybe it's because they know me. This would be the year I cleaned the motor up good, too. <laughs> yeah. I had a deputy sheriff stop me down in, uh, down by Dick's Body Shop one time. I was cruising right along, and the lights come on. The cop come over to the car. He says, oh, well, I didn't know it was you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> well, that's not a good sign. No, that ain't a good sign at all. You want a quart? I got. I just bought a quart to put in the uh, Dodge, but if you need it here more than I do. Look, I might have a quart for this too. Yeah. But I wouldn't have thought it would have been it was in that low. Well, it's just touching the different. Yeah, well, it's touching. There's some in there. Well, I want to change the oil anyway. So. That's the same with that. Well. No, I used it all. 
Oh. Oh. I got a cord in on the kitchen table. I'll go get it. Let me shut this off. Pick at this this weekend during the weekend on the uh, maybe lunch breaks. Yeah. Do some improvements on it. Change the oil. Uh, I don't want to dig into it too deep because I'd rather just be able to you know drive it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to deal with the transmission until this this fall. Yeah. I guess. I mean, then again, if I if I pull it apart on a weekend and I can put it back together in the same weekend, it'd be good. I just have to find the gear, what synchros and bearings and seals for the transmission, maybe. Yeah, that's probably what I think. What it is, the synchros. Yeah. Because then they could be like, because I remember you said you used to pull them out on uh, one day and then have them back in like the next day because you you got so good you're good at doing it. Yeah, I think I still got a basket full of uh, gears and stuff down the cellar for these old Ford transmissions. Yeah. Don't know if there's any synchros in there though. Right, but don't you have to pull the motor right out in order to get to this training though? Because of the way the frame's set up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Either that or the rear end. Some yeah. people would just unbolt the uh, springs and roll the rear end back a little ways. And then, it, and then you can, get the, then you can take out the transmission, but uh, I always used to just m unbolt the engine, swing it ahead a little bit. Well, I figured that'd be the best bet. I can actually take the, uh, take the nose right off, pull the motor out momentarily, drill that freaking crank bolt back out. Yeah. Because I've got all kinds of goodies that I can do that really nice and easy with, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> Better buy an electric fan system. I almost had one at Bonnie Eagle too. Perfect setup, but I, I passed on it because I didn't have a lot of money. So oh, yeah. He wanted like a hundred bucks or more for it. So. Oh, wow. Uh, go for more than that now. So. Next Sunday is this big swap meet down in Connecticut that I usually go to down by Wayne's Sunday. house. So maybe I can pick up a fan there. I think I paid like eighteen ninety five for an electric yeah. fan, brand new. you ask me what size so I can measure it out oh yeah yeah well now that this this thing isn't clunking anymore I think it's safe to take it down there well I mean if I can get the, uh, the trailer how is the trailer looking anyway I guess I probably better walk out there yeah I guess so Car. Yep. Well. God, I gotta change the brake in oil out of it. Because I hadn't driven it that much, so I got brake in oil. Yeah. Do that too. Be a while before the Pontiac gets out. Oh yeah. yeah. My 40 pickup out there I too. Know, huh? <laughs> in your new Plymouth. Oh yeah, I forgot I got a 54 <laughs> Plymouth. I'm gonna see if that uh Dodge uh, Magnum chassis is uh, will fit underneath that body. We can make it fit. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Doesn't have a frame, so we could just cut the floor pan to the right size mm -hmm. if it's too long. And stretch it out if it's too short. It's a lot of welding, but we could make it fit. <laughs> yeah, it would be a pretty awesome car with a Hemi in it. like that thing's ready to go back out front for sale again I know, right? or back on craigslist yeah i gotta get that record going get that out of there yeah. it's got a flat tire so i gotta oh. pump that up yeah. well i think it'll pull right out now that snow behind the wheel isn't gonna mount to much it's four-wheel drive oh. but Uh, it's, I don't think I'll need to move it. It'll be fine there. Okay. Well. Before I go home, but I mean, I'll give you a holler too if that guy wants me. That guy's good to come over.
Yeah. It's working. <laughs> All right, well. Locks don't get stopped. <laughs> Second gear. No, stalled it first. There it goes. Uh, thank you, Janet, for this coffee cup, by the way, if you're watching. <laughs>